Hey everybody, it's Hades846. Welcome back to more Globs of Doom. In the last episode, we had a little difficult. Actually, I don't think we had any difficulty. In the and we defeated the giant girl eating plant and got the next and got the third piece of the vessel of Fortentia. In this episode, as you can see, there are only two portals. That's because because um well I don't know. There's no boss in this level. There are only two levels. I don't get it. But they try to make this level. Sh they try to make this world short. So in this episode, we are going to go into this level, and we are going to try and find out where the next piece of the vessel of Hortensia is. And we're going to get a new. We're going to get a new portal thing. Ooh, mystical. Actually, I kind of like this one. It's like my second favorite, next to the Jimmy Neutron one. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah, in the last episode, I talked about how much I don't like Rugrats. Yeah, I think it's kind of ridiculous, and it's really silly. And everything about it, I don't, I don't, um, unfortunately, the only Rugrat movie, Rugrats movie that I do like, kind of, is Rugrats in Paris. That one is kind of cool. Especially, um, especially that one dream sequence with Chucky when he's sleeping. He gets like this, um, he dreams that he's like this, like, Bruce Lee or Jackie Chan thing, and it's just so kind of funny, because it's tr because the dream is supposed to represent his bravery and how he's afraid of a door. I don't get it. And I also like the part, for some reason, in Rugrats, they are always this, like, okay, I'm gonna shut up right now. What? You live here? The beach living in a bucket. Come on, we gotta find your bulb. Jeb, who, what? My mentor. He may know where the piece is hidden. May the juju be with you. What are you trying to do, Star Wars or something? Uh, so welcome to Poo Poo Nunu. This place is kind of exotic, and let's turn people into sheep. We will turn people into sheep. So I like. For some reason, they have in in the Rugrats universe, they have this thing called a Reptar. Reptar is like this T Rex. Excuse me. It's like this uh, T Rex T Rex knockoff. It's like this giant T Rex knockoff. But wait, no wait. It's not supposed to be a T Rex knockoff. It's supposed to be a Godzilla knockoff because it has dorsal spines. Isn't that weird? It also it can breathe fire. But for some reason, the one part that I really don't get is how are they? Is um, there's like this whole Japanese universe thing that there's like this Japan thing. It's like a whole Japan thing in Paris. I don't get it. Why is there like a Japan place or something? They also have like this um, this Euro Disneyland. They have like this Euro Disneyland knockoff called Euro Reptar. It's it's kind of funny. Um, yeah. So. Let's stop talking about the one thing that I do not, the one thing that I do not like on television, and let's just start on this, let's just keep going on this, on this level. Um, as you can see, my health has been upgraded by a lot, because I've been upgrading it a lot. And also, um, also for some strange reason, well, I don't think it's strange, I think it's supposed to be normal. There are more than two characters in this in this um ga in in each level I uh, I think because um in in because in level two of Bikini Bottom I when I went into the theater well when I went back for my on my redo thing um I found Squidward in the bathroom and that's strange because Squidward was like captive captive and he's always saying. And it's like, eh, am I supposed to, like, reward you or something? And it's like, eh, am I supposed to say thank you or something? And I'm like, yeah. And I'm, like, saying to myself, yeah, I saved your life, jerk. Seriously, what is Squidward's problem? Uh, it's like, um, SpongeBob, SquarePant SpongeBob and Squidward is like a whole Dennis the Menace thing. But Dennis the Menace sucks, and that's, and that's, and that's it. Seriously, Squidward is such an a is such an asshole in everything, and I don't mean to swear, but it is true. Squidward is a is a giant is a giant a hole, and you know it. Everyone hates Squidward. 
but but the episode that I hate Squidward the most in, well, I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to think of times when Squidward is being an, an a-hole. Juju in your face. Um, I think the one episode that I hate Squidward so bad in is, um, the one where, uh, it's called a, a Fools on April. Well, I think it's supposed to be called Fools on April. Yeah, because, um, after, after Squidward has been, um, after Squidward has been annoyed by Spongebob's laugh, after, after, like, fooling everybody and saying April Fools, he plays a trick on, he plays a trick on Spongebob, and it is evil. He, um, he, um, he puts this rope, and welcome to the Poopy Me New Village, um, yeah. Um, he gets, he gets this rope, um, puts mustard on it to trick Spongebob into, um, cleaning it up, then it takes him into this powder, on the wall, into a guy's anus, and, and then, and then puts him into a, and then, and then Spongebob lands into a garbage can. Dude, Squidward is just evil. Seriously, what the heck is wrong with him? No wonder why everyone hates him. Because at the, because when the joke was over, people say, um, a guy says, April Fool's jerk. Yeah, that's exactly what I want to say. Excuse me, just want to destroy this. Thing. Yeah, that's exactly what I want to say. When I see Squidward again, actually, um, I'm planning on to make this, um, this top 10 thing, it's called the top 10 biggest jerks in cinema and television. Because there are a lot of jerks in, in, in movies, and there are also a lot of jerks in television. Like Walter Peck from Ghostbusters. Oh. My. God. I just want to kill him there. Because I hate him so bad. He is such a freaking jerk. I just want to get a bazooka and just sm and just blow him up. Just blow him up because he is such a giant dick. Oh god, we're on the time limit. Uh, don't worry, I can finish it really, really quick. I just need to kill this guy. I just need to kill this giant fossil thing. Uh, also, more jerk. Also, another jerk that I also hate in cinema. Um is, uh, Dolores Umbr Umbridge from Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Oh my god, I hate her so bad she drives me insane. I just want to use the Avada Kedavra curse on her a billion times. And also, the one a-hole that I hate so bad in movies, I'm gonna tell it to you in the next episode. Because next time on Globs of Doom, we are going to go into, the, into this portal, and we are going to get we are going to go into the temp into this temple thing that Jabulba told that said that the last piece of the vessel of Fortentia is in there. So in the next episode, we are going to go to the temple and we're going to get the last piece, which means we're almost close to the end of the game. So see you guys then.